When I heard that they were going to make a new Mortal Kombat movie, a, a, a sort of reboot, my expectations were pretty low. I was never a huge fan of the game. I mean, I mean, I've played the old, the, all the old ones, and I've played a couple of the new ones. And I, 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 I liked the 1995 uh, Paul W. S. Anderson movie until I rewatched it a couple of years ago. Um, it has not aged well. But after watching the trailers and some of the promotional material for this new Mortal Kombat movie, I thought they might be able to pull it off. Maybe it won't be a masterpiece, I mean, come on, but at least it might be an entertaining action movie. Boy was I wrong. Mortal Kombat is uh, not a terrible movie. It's actually something even worse. It's a terribly bland movie. You would think a movie about badass warriors fighting monsters in a tournament deciding the fate of the world would be a shoe-in for some bolster wall easily digestible action. But this is not a movie about badass warriors fighting monsters in a tournament deciding the fate of the world. This is the prequel to that movie. There is no tournament, there is no deciding the fate of our world, and there are barely any fights between badasses and monsters. I understand the model nowadays is that you need a franchise in order to make money when you're making a big budget movie like this. That you can't just make one movie, you have to make at least three or even five movies. The problem then becomes that the first movie in your franchise runs the risk of being a little underwhelming. And Mortal Kombat is just that. Underwhelming. It fails to excite you on every level. The characters are bland and underwritten. Uh, no one has any personality or any discernible motivation really other than, you know, we gotta protect Earthrealm. The only character that is even remotely enjoyable is Kano. He's, you know, he's a, he's a loudmouth, kind of a douchebag asshole. So, you know, he's, he's kind of fun to have as a, as a somewhat of an anti-hero. But he still only has the bare minimum of what you would call a personality. So, okay, the characters aren't great. But it's a Mortal Kombat movie. It's a movie based on a beat-em-up video game. So all we need are some cool and brutal fights, and, you know, the, the, the night is saved. But we don't get that either. For the first hour, we get a couple of mediocre fights. After that, it's mostly uh, sparring matches where our heroes have to find their inner strength or their arcana, or whatever they call it. It isn't until the very end that we get some pretty cool fights uh, between some of the characters, and especially one between Sub-Zero and uh, Scorpion, two of the fan favorites. Of, of course, they were saving the best for last, I suppose. But at that point, at least I had lost all interest in the movie. Mortal Kombat is all set up and no payoff. You get tons of exposition about the tournament and the, the different realms and the prophecy of, of, of Hasashi Hanzo, the Scorpion character, which doesn't really say much unless you know the character, so I guess that's mostly for the fans of the games? Which is not good. If you're trying to make a mainstream movie, you really have to um, make it for both you know, fans of the video games and people who are just here to watch an entertaining movie. But most of the excitement in the movie comes from you knowing the characters from the video games when they say, flawless victory, or Kaino wins, you know. That's funny, but it's only f funny and entertaining if you know that from the video game. Otherwise, it's just cringy, really. As for the uh, the tournament and the, the, the different realms and all the cool, cool stuff, that are in that is in the Mortal Kombat games, we don't get to see it in this movie. They gotta save that for the sequels. But since this first movie probably won't entertain a lot of people, I doubt there will be any sentiment for them to make another one. Unfortunately. So all we're left with is the uh, this wet blanket of a movie. 
It really feels like no one involved with the making of this movie believed in it. The direction is uninspired. They hired a, 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 a first-time director who had only done um, uh, commercial work before. I mean, sure, good directors have come from the commercial world, but wouldn't it be better to pick someone who's actually done some good action before? Get some of the guys who made their John Wick movies. Uh, uh, get, uh, I don't know if he still works, but get um, Yuan Wu Ping, who did the stunt chore the choreography for the Matrix movies. Um, or, I, I, I don't know, maybe that wouldn't fit, but like uh, Yimu Zhang, who made Hero and, and the House of Flying Daggers. Like, someone with a little bit of style, a little bit of panache. Maybe it wouldn't be right for this kind of movie, but at least it would, you know, it would, it would add something to it, you know? And then the acting is wooden, because they went for basically no-name actors. You do recognize some of the some of the the, the actors. Uh, uh, for me, it was uh, uh, Joe Taslim who plays uh, uh, Bihan or, or, or Sub Zero, who who is in uh, the first Raid movie and that other uh, movie called We We Own the Night or something like that. Um, and then a couple of more recognizable faces, um, but they don't really do much in this movie. I'm not really sure why the rest of the cast were cast. I'm guessing they're good at fighting, but they don't really get to show off much of their fighting skills in the movie. So, it's, it's a failure either way. And even the set design is boring. Half of the movie takes place in, in the desert, and the rest is basically back alleys and warehouses. It's eerily reminiscent of B-grade sci-fi movies of the 80s, like uh, uh, Beastmaster or, or, or Masters of the Universe. It's just it's just filmed outside, because that's cheaper, I suppose. And that also then makes the movie look cheap. I guess most of the budget went to the gallons of CGI blood they have. Yes. 90% of the gore in this movie is C CGI. And there's nothing worse in a movie like this, a movie with a bunch of, you know, blood and gore that, you know, the Mortal Kombat is known for, when the fake blood isn't even real fake blood. Very, very disappointing. Honestly, as bad as the 1995 uh, Paul Anderson Mortal Kombat movie is, at least that one had some charm. And you could laugh at how cheesy it is now, uh, but it's tw 25 years later. This new one is just a giant flatline. Honestly, so little care seems to have been put into this that even I could write a better movie than this. I'm not even kidding. Give me, um, give me one month and I'll write a better Mortal Kombat reboot than this. I'll do it. But that's gonna have to be it. Um, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Um, yeah, you can you can skip this one unless you're a huge fan of the of the games. You might find it a little bit entertaining when they say, you know, I am Kung Lao or yeah, the the Kano wins or finish them. But that's about it. The characters don't really feel like the characters in the game, and we don't even get Johnny Cage. They switched out Johnny Cage for this new, even blander a main guy. Joe something. I guess they're saving Johnny Cage for a sequel. So we'll never see that. Honestly, just watch the watch the 95 version instead. Like I said, at least it's charming. But that's gonna have to be it. Thank you so much for for uh, for watching. If you've seen the new Mortal Kombat movie, um, please give me your opinion down in the comments, um, and maybe give me some constructive criticism where I was wrong, if I was wrong. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and the little bell thing so you're always updated when we release new stuff. Um, and if you really want to support uh, this show and this channel, check out my Patreon, where for as little as three bucks a month you will get exclusive videos, commentary tracks, and an extra episode of my podcast, The Spoiler Cast, every week. But other than that, um. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, have a good one. Mortal Kombat!